Hey everyone, Board Game Brody here with Meeple Mountain. I have a copy of Pooh Mafiosi, a filler card game designed by Reiner Knizia and published by Bitewing Games. Pooh Mafiosi is a thinky, filler family card game for two to five players. Let's get straight to how you play the game. The game is best played over three rounds, keeping your points from one round to the next. Each player is dealt out 10 cards from a deck of 55 total cards. These cards number 1 to 55. Each player will then have tokens of a chosen color representing their family for what they're representing in the game. Each player will also take a wealth card where they will be placing their point tokens to keep track of their score and also a penalty point card where they will be keeping track of their penalties that give them negative points. Nine hierarchy cards are placed out in numerical order. Whoever has a card with their own family token on top of it at the end of the game next to the hierarchy card will score the points listed on that card. But it's not as easy to score these as you might guess. To begin the game, each player will take three cards from their dealt out ten cards. The second oldest player will start the game and then whoever is the winner of the previous turn will start each turn after that. And then in later rounds, the player with the most points will start that round. On a player's turn, they will choose one of their three cards to play face up. And in clockwise order, all other players will choose to play one of their cards as well from their hand face up. The player who plays the second highest card will win the round, so you need to decide which card of the three that you want to try to play to win the round. The winner will then take their card that they played in that round and they will choose to place it next to one of the hierarchy cards with their family token placed on top of it to mark that it's theirs. All other cards that were played by the other players are then discarded. Each player will draw one new card from their deck and the winner will then begin a new round by playing another card and then following in clockwise orders players will continue playing the game. Each turn, as you can see, one card will be added to one of the hierarchy cards. If you decide when you win a turn to place a card next to a hierarchy card that's not occupied by any cards, then it will own that spot that it's placed in because no other cards are there. But if you decide to place it next to a hierarchy card that already has a different card there that is of a lower number that you're placing, then it will cause that lower number card to get pushed down to the lower hierarchy card. Again, if this causes two cards to be placed next to that hierarchy card, then the lowest of those two will slide down one spot. And this will keep on happening until there is only one card or no card in each of the slots. Now, for each hierarchy step which a card drops, that player who owns that card will get a penalty point, and you will know this because they'll have their token on placed on top of that card. That player will take a penalty token and place it on their penalty point card. Players will want to win rounds with high numbered cards to place their cards safely into high positions to score them more points, but also so they don't drop down from others pushing them down. But also, players will want to avoid winning the low cards, as weak Pumafiosi usually end up in the cemetery. And this slot is the only slot that can hold any number of cards, and it is the home to all the low cards that don't make it above. After 10 rounds, scoring is performed. Players will gain the points for the cards that they have in the hierarchy slots. Again, they will reference the hierarchy card to figure out how many points they will score. If you end up not scoring any hierarchy cards, then you will get a penalty of 10 negative points. Players can then subtract their wealth points by any penalty points they accumulated during the game. After three total rounds, whoever has the most points wins and becomes the big boss. The game is a fun quick game that changes how you think from other classic card games. The game kind of holds a hearts or a spades kind of feel to it, but then it introduces a modern touch by strategically playing the second highest card, which is surprisingly very strategic. So what's so strategic about trying to win the second highest card? Well, everyone only has three cards to choose from, and the cards are from 1 to 55. You might want to get rid of a low card so later rounds you have a better hand of cards to choose from, 
but you also need to watch out as other players might decide to also play low cards with your low card, making someone win with a low card, which is usually going to result in negative points. So you want to win with the highest numbered card possible, and you don't want to win with the low numbered cards. That's because even if it is near the beginning of the round and there are no cards on the hierarchy track, then it will eventually get pushed down, giving you negative points till it's at the negative three card, which is a lot of negative points. So that brings in this other strategic thing. When you win and place cards on the hierarchy slots, you want to make sure that you get the most points, placing your card at the highest that you can, but you don't want to get bumped down later in the game, giving you negative points. And when placing the card, they actually don't have to be placed highest to lowest. You can try to sneak in at some places, but you need to know that if you do get bumped, you might be moving a long ways down, receiving actually more negative points than you do positive. So the selection of where you put your winning card on the hierarchy track is the other element of that strategy. The game is fast to play, full of simple yet strategic choices, and the round ramps up as you play due to the hierarchy track and bumping cards down. And sometimes a lot of them are going to get bumped down, changing who is doing good in the game. Players will need to win rounds playing the second highest card, but also placing their winning card in the best place on the hierarchy track. So you will need to become the big boss by not being on top, ending beneath the ground in Kumafiosi by Bite Wing Games. Again, this is Board Game Brody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table.